Thomas the Jazz Cat and Blixem de Bone lived next door to each other at the edge of a township called Chameleon Creek. Every day they sang the same old song. I'm so bored, bored of playing boring songs all day long. I'm so, so tired, tired bored it's of exhausting boring tunes all day long. <sighs> One day, they took a break from playing the same old tune and decided to play a spot of soccer down by the creek. Blixen kicked the ball with all her might. The ball went up. The ball came down. It hit the ground and rolled towards the creek. The ball came to rest against a dull grey water pipe they'd never noticed before. Don't go From deep within the water pipe, they heard an extra strange and extraordinary sound. There, in the darkness, glowed a strange, luminous egg. The egg began to crack. Don't touch it, said Thomas. Look, it's growing. Look, it's glowing. And from the egg and from the glow emerged a being they didn't know. The strangest sight they'd ever seen. The strangest worm that had ever been. Saul Bona, how you do da? Here I am again. These are metamorphic games I play. Don't know if I can take the strain. But where are my manners? I'm so rude. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm Peter Pat, the crazy caterpillar. I make your wishes come true. I make it come true. A wish? said Blixen. I've had a whisker, I've had a woof, but never a wish. I wish I could see the sea, said Thomas. To see the sea would be for me the thing to see. Are there fish fingers? asked Blixen. And crab cakes and sardine sandwiches. <laughs> See is where you wish to be Of all the places you could be free Listen, repeat after me Alakazam, Alakazam The power of the mind is a magical thing Alakazam, Alakazam You make it the way I make it come The dull grey water pipe started to shake, rattle and roll. Thomas and Blixen twirled around and around. They were flying through a rainbow at the crazy speed of sound. But where could they be going? And where could they be found? They were on the strangest coral reef they'd ever seen. Were they in a delirium? Were they in a dream? There were codfish and oddfish and oysters in socks. There were stonefish and bonefish and dolphins in frocks. They were toing and froing. But where were they going? To a matinee under the sea? So they followed the crowd, who were getting quite loud. A concert? But who could it be? Ladies and fishermen, please welcome to the Polary stage, Sting Ray Charles! <laughs> And I'm top of the bill But this game called fame Don't give me a thrill All the songs that I sing No joy do they bring Outdated, frustrated And sick to the gill Thank you very much Bravo! said Blixen Encore! said Thomas What a voice! What an act! We've got to get his autograph! We've got to get backstage Oi! said a huge leatherback turtle. Where the fish do you two think you're going? Uh, uh, we just want to meet Stingray Charles. He's got the best voice this side of Chameleon Creek. 
Yeah, he's a legend in his own lunchtime. <laughs> oh, you're fans, are you? You want to meet the boss, do you? Well, I happen to be his personal bodyguard. I can organise a little visit. For a small fee, of course. Got any mackerel on you? Eh, hey, Blexum, said Thomas. What about those fish fingers of yours? Oh, I've already finished most of them. Hand them over, said Thomas impatiently. Oh, fish fingers, said the bodyguard. Haven't had one of those since I was knee high to a lobster. Don't mind if I do. Right, this way, said the bodyguard, and led them to the starfish dressing room. Mr. Sting, Mr. Ray, Mr. Charles, sir. Couple of fans to see you. Not today, dear McAleers. They come a long way, Mr. Sting, Mr. Ray. All right, make it snappy. The door opened, and there, at his dressing room table, slumped a very sad and very salty Sting Ray Charles. What a performance, said Thomas. You're the best, said Blixem. No, I'm not. They're not my songs. I'm selling my soul for what? Other people's music. It hasn't been the same since Georgia walked out on me. But you sing such great tunes. Oh, please. Don't tune on me. And you've got such a great voice. Oh, yes. But the managers are such sharks. They just won't let me sing it my way. I'm sending out an SOS. What if we help you spice it up a bit? Asked Thomas. Yeah, like give it a bit of a swing, said Blixem. Give it a what? Give it a swing. OK, Bourne, take it from the top. Hey, Stingray Charles, it's been too long. We've done a little bit of swinging to bring it along. Come, Come join us now, we're going to show you how. We're swinging, we're swinging, and this is your song. Oh, fillet, oh fillet, oh fillet of fish, I can't believe I'm living my wish. Oh fillet, oh fillet, oh fillet of bream, I can't believe I'm living my dream. Scooby doo doo wah, Scooby doo wah. Oi! Five minutes, Mr. Sink, Mr. Wright, Mr. Charles. Oh, you chaps have truly brought out the music in me. Derm Achilles, tell those sharks we've got a brand new show for the next performance. Oh, I don't think that's a wise idea, Mr. Wright, Mr. Charles, Mr. Sting, sir. And tell them we've got guest artists. Ooh, we'd love to stay, Mr. Charles, said Blixem. But we've got big barn practice back at Chameleon Creek, said Thomas. Pity. But the show must go on. Oh, do feel free to scooby doo boo bop on down any time, dear hearts. Said a beaming Stingray Charles. Break the fin, Mr. Charles. Ah, the roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. There won't be a dry gill in the place by the time I'm finished with them. Let the show go on. Oh, fillet, oh fillet, oh fillet of fish. I can't believe by my Back on dry land, Blixem and Thomas shared an octopus ice cream and strolled along the pier, feeling quite pleased with themselves. And then, the thought struck them. How are we going to get home? asked Blixem. I wish we knew how, said Thomas. Suddenly, on the pier, appeared a magnificent multicoloured butterfly. Oh, Bonna, how do you do da? Here I am again. But a pet, is it true? These metamorphic games I play, seems like I have changed again. Pitapat, is that you? One and the same, although I must say, I feel a bit strange. It started today. And look, I can fly. I can butterfly. Now, didn't I hear somebody make a wish? Yeah, I wish we knew how to get home, but about. We're really, really, really late for big brass band practice back at Chameleon Creek, said Blixem. 
Don't you remember a thing? Sounds like... Alicacy. Alicacy. All the magic words, said Thomas. I know them, I know them, said Blixen. Flash! Thomas the Jazz Cat and Blixen de Bone were transported back home to Chameleon Creek on Pitapat's magical multicolored wings. Oh, late again, are we? said the Chameleon Creek Big Brass Band leader. You won't believe where we've just been, said Blixen. Oh, hi, same old story. Magical adventures again, I suppose. Well, actually, said Thomas. Listen, laddie, there's no fun in games here in the CCBBB. It's just music, music, music. Now, whip out your instruments and enough of these fancy stories. All right, lads, let's take it from the top. A one, a two, and you know what to do. As Blixen blew her very first note, a tiny silver starfish sparkled to the floor. She picked it up and placed it carefully in her bone case to remind her and Thomas the Jazz Cat of their adventure with Stingray Charles and the time they helped him find his swing. It's the end of the tale and time to be flying back home. I'm a godly to Thomas the Jazz Cat and Blicks and the Ball. They traveled the Magical adventures again, I suppose. All the magic words. Alexander, Alexander. Golly mackerel on ya. Let the show go on. I'll make it come true. Down in the meadow where the green grass grew, swam three little fishies and the mommy fishy too. Swim, said the mommy fishy, swim if you can. And they swam and they swam and they swam all over the dam. Two, three, four. A boop, boop, didn't die and water them, shoo. A boop, boop, didn't die and water them, shoo. A boop, boop, did him down and water him shoe And they swam and they swam and they swam All over the dam Oh yeah And what happens next, do you think? This is the dangerous part Well, out in the rushes was a wily fox He said, I want those fishies for my fishy lunchbox Shoo, said the man, the fish don't mean to be rude You ain't getting my babies for no foxy fish food Two, three, four A boop, boop, did him, dad, and want him Shoo! A boop, boop, did him, dad, and want him Shoo! A boop, boop, did him, dad, and want him Shoo! You ain't getting my babies For no foxy fish food hmm. But there was a friend who came to help Mm-hmm uh -huh. So out in the rushes was a boop boop bird She said, boop 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 I think it's quite absurd That foxy wants you for the fishy food And you must shoo 
I don't want to be rude. Two, three, four. A boo boo. Did him down and what I shoot. A boo boo. Did him down and what I'm shoot. A boo boo. Did him down and what I'm shoot. You ain't getting those babies for no foxy fish food. So now we're going to sing the chorus again because the chorus is the lucky words that keeps the fox away. A boop, boop, did and dad and what him, shoo. A boop, boop, did and dad and what him, shoo. A boop, boop, did and dad and what him, shoo. And they swam and they swam and they swam all over the dam. That's what they did. Oh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. all over the dam. Oh yeah, all over the dam. <laughs> Goldilocks went for a walk one day Down in the woods she lost her way When she was getting too tired to play She came to a little house One little window was open wide Goldilocks was soon inside There on a table at once she spied Three bowls of porridge. She finished the porridge, then tried the chairs. Then, feeling tired, she went upstairs. No one knew the house belonged to the three bears in the wood. The bears had kept their home a secret like no one ever should. All day long they roamed the forest as hungry as could be And at night they came home growling, growling Hungry as could be, quiet as a mouse They crept into the house Who's been sitting in my chair, said Daddy Bear with a howl. And who's been sitting in my chair, said Mommy Bear with a scowl. And little baby bear said, who's been sitting in my chair, and they've eaten my porridge up too. Those hungry bears then said, We'd better get up to bed. Goldilocks had fallen asleep. Goldilocks was slumbering deep. While the three bears gathered around, saying goodness knows what we have found. Tiptoed out of the room because she looked so sweet and good. They left a note to say, Please don't go away, come and play with us down in the wood. And so she often goes to play in the house in the wood. The end. <laughs>